LeBron James is a professional basketball player who's widely considered to be one of the greatest all-around players of all time, and who's won the National Basketball Association championships with the Miami Heat in 2012 and 2013, the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016, and the LA Lakers in 2020, often referred to as King James. He's been around since 2003 and is becoming older. At the age of 36, he must be thinking about retiring. Skeptics say his career is over. We took a closer look. Is his career over? This is what we could find out. So, this is the end for LeBron James? Here's why. But before we get into this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our new videos we post. An overview of LeBron James. Standing 6 feet 9 inches tall and weighing 250 pounds, James has played the majority of his career at small forward and power forward positions, but has also been deployed at other positions when necessary. His playing style, which is athletic and versatile, has drawn comparisons to Hall of Famer Oscar Robert. Magic Johnson, and Michael Jordan. A locally known basketball prodigy since elementary school, James was named Ohio's Mr. Basketball High School Player of the Year three times while leading Akron St. Vincent St. Mary High to three Ohio State Championships in his four-year term. He became a national media sensation in his junior year after appearing on the cover of Sports Illustrated, where he was billed by the magazine as the chosen one. James was the consensus National High School Player of the Year in his senior year, and he was elected by the Cleveland Cavaliers with the first overall selection of the 2003 NBA Draft. Additionally, he signed an unprecedented $90 million endorsement contract with the Nike Shoe Company before he ever played a professional basketball game. Despite the pressures brought on by these singular circumstances, James led the Cavaliers in scoring steals and minutes played over the course of the 2003-04 season, winning the league's Rookie of the Year award in process. This tall point forward, who was adept at bringing the ball down the court as he was bringing it near the basket, James presented a unique challenge for opposing teams. James had a long and illustrious career. He played for the Cleveland Cavaliers, then the Miami Heat, then back to the Cavs, and is still playing for the LA Lakers. In the 2017-2018 season, he played a full 82-game regular season for the first time in his career and led the NBA in minutes played per game, 36.9, while averaging 27.5 points, 8.6 rebounds, and a new career high, 9.1 assists per game. James again excelled in the following playoffs, scoring more than 40 points seven times in the team's 18 Eastern Conference postseason games, which included two seven-game series, to lead the Cavaliers to their fourth straight NBA Finals series against the Warriors. He continued his strong individual play in the finals, but it was not enough to overcome the Golden State's overwhelming talent advantage, and the Warriors swept the series. In the following season, James, a free agent, joined the LA Lakers. He continued to play at a high level, averaging 27.4 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 8.3 assists per game. But he missed significant playing time because of an injury, a strained joint for the first time in his career. The Lakers struggled in his absence and ultimately finished the 2018-2019 season with a 37-45 record, ending James's personal playoff streak at 13 seasons. The following season was disrupted by the COVID pandemic, which caused a four-month suspension. Play resumed in July 2020 with a shortened schedule, and the Lakers ultimately defeated the Miami Heat to claim the franchise's 17th NBA title. James's dominating performance. He averaged 29.8 points, 11.8 rebounds, and 8.5 assists per game. Earned him his fourth Finals MVP award. In addition to his achievements in the NBA, James was a member of the U.S. men's Olympic basketball team that won the bronze medal at the 2004 Games, the gold medal at the 2008 Games, and the gold at the 2012 Games. He also published a memoir, Shooting Stars, that chronicles his years as a high school standout, The Decline of the King. Recently, the Los Angeles Lakers Phoenix Suns series had this sense of inevitability from the very beginning. The prevailing thought was that no matter how energetic Chris Paul plays, no matter how ready for the moment Devin Booker and DeAndre Anton are, you couldn't shake the feeling that LeBron James was going to put his imprint on the series as usual. After all, the man has never lost in the first round. The Phoenix Suns may have had the better seed, the healthier team, the home court advantage, but they weren't the favorites in this story, as both the NBA history books and sports books had it written. Game 5 was supposed to be LeBron James's defining moment in the series, just another feather in the cap, if you will. The fact that the Los Angeles Lakers star had the odds stacked against him with Anthony Davis on the injury report just read like the perfect narrative. James talked right after the AD went down in Game 4, ready to take on the burden of carrying a squad through one decisive battle. For me, it's putting our team in position to be successful. It starts with my approach, James said. 
It starts with my accountability and trickles down everybody else. These shoulders were built for a reason, and if it takes for me to put more on top of it, then so be it. Win, lose, or draw, I'm ready for the challenge. And after that, we were still subjected to an absolute purple and gold demolition by 30 points, something that even the worst LeBron James hater probably wouldn't have bet on happening. James has delivered time and again throughout his lengthy career. It has taken superhero performances, all-time great NBA teams, or both to topple him in any playoff series. Every other rival has been fodder, just waiting to get eaten up. But after 18 seasons and thousands of minutes of mileage logged on his body, LeBron James may no longer be formidable enough to meet the expectations that his broad shoulders have carried for nearly two decades. King James' decline has been gradual. It has teetered just enough as he's aged to keep him at a level that still far exceeds how mere mortals should be at that stage of their careers. It has always been in little things that you might notice that he's not the same as before. In the Sun series, these little things don't seem so little anymore. It has been more blatant than it's ever been. There was one stat that stood out from the LA Lakers box score in Game 5. LeBron James played nearly 32 minutes, the most on the team, but somehow finished with zero free throw attempts. After touting his own shoulders as ready to carry his club, his aggressiveness seemed drained away from him like never before. In a game where he was basically by himself with his back against the wall, the most physically imposing force in the NBA for his generation no longer had the ability to even get to the free throw line. Things are definitely changing for the King. To make things worse, there have been certain plays in the series that you're just not accustomed to seeing from LeBron James. There was an instant in the second quarter of the Game 5 with his team desperately needing a bucket that James went for his patented bully ball move in the paint. Nobody's supposed to take a bump from LeBron and still feel strong enough to contest his shot, let alone emphatically stuff him like Torrey Craig was able to. He was also looking downright helpless on the defensive end. James has been left in the dust by campaign, the Phoenix Suns' newest folk hero on more than a handful of occasions. One of the most dominant physical specimens on both ends of the floor, LeBron James has not even been able to block a single shot in his last eight playoff games. Gramps is struggling. Now, you may say that the Lakers star has been hampered by an ankle injury that's been plaguing him for months, but even that is such a telltale sign of his new normal. LeBron James getting seriously injured has never been a thing until the years in LA. This is not just one bad game, it's a decline. This is also the first time since the 2007-2008 season that James has scored, on average, less than 25.3 points per game. His field goals were down from 9.6 to 9.4. His field goal attempts were down from 19.5 to 18.4. His two-pointers are down, and the list grows longer. Recounting James's missteps in this series isn't meant to disparage him or the Lakers' chances of pulling off a comeback. On the contrary, his newfound mortality makes it much more compelling for us to watch and observe. With his gloss of invincibility gone, the challenges become greater than ever before as Game 6 and Game 7 possibly looms. King James is crashing back down to earth after being on a different plane of existence from the rest of his peers, but even then, he's probably still better than everyone else. We'll all have to sit back and watch him prove it. Let's hope I'm wrong. James is getting older. That's just a fact, and his basketball career must end at some point. Even if he puts in some great performances, his career is drawing to a close. That's inevitable for all sports people. Whatever the case may be, he still entertains us, and will still be remembered as one of the best basketball players of all time. He would want to go out with a bang, so one might suggest he'll want to be remembered for what he did in his very last game whatever that may be. This is all we have time for today. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below and tell us if you think James is done. Thanks for watching and remember, return for more. Until then, stay safe, enjoy the game.